Well, it's all over for us here on the little island of convicts known as Australia because from the 1st of July they are actually going to be bringing in a digital ID for every single Australian. And you wouldn't know this because they haven't actually reported on this in any of the mainstream media outlets. No, 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 you have to actually go look this up for yourself. What they have been reporting on, however, is how the internet and social media is detrimental to children. And so that is the justification that they are going to use to bring in this digital ID, even though they have known about this for over a decade. It is well known that pedophiles access children using social media and it is well known that children as young as seven can easily access certain sites meant for adults. And there have been many of us who have tried to inform the authorities and to inform these, media, these platforms, these social media platforms about the issue of pedo rings, active pedo rings on their platform and who were actually the ones threatened to have their channel deleted because this happened to me 12 years ago. But now, now they care. Now they care. Now they suddenly care. And we're starting to see these articles. This is from the Ministry of Truth. In Australia, this is the ABC News outlet, which is literally owned by the government, one of the most popular media outlets in Australia. Literally, as I said, the Ministry of Truth. They're now telling us that uh, Australians are going to be made to verify their age to access social media and certain adult sites because now, only now, they're concerned about children accessing these sites and children being exploited on social media. Even though, as I said, we've known for many, many, many years that this has been an issue. Because you know what, guys? I've always said they're one-trick ponies, okay? They're one-trick ponies. They always have the same modus operandi. They create the problem. And then they come and fix the problem, but it's always to our detriment. And that's exactly what they did here. They allowed all of this to flourish and become such an issue that they could now ride in as our saviors, as our white knights, and fix it all by telling us that we need a digital ID. And guess what? This digital ID, the law passed a few days ago, but again, you would not know this, Australians, because none of the mainstream media are actually reporting on this. If you put this into Google and do a search, you will see that none of the mainstream media outlets are reporting on this. Why? Why is that? because they're preparing to blindside us with this. It's going to be rolled out on the 1st of July. They're saying that um, they're consulting the public. Okay, where are they consulting the public? The mainstream media are not even reporting on it. So that is a load of bullshit that they're consulting the public because that's what this... Um, Consult consultation means public consultation. You think public consultation actually means that they discuss it before they actually, you know, put the law through and, uh, you know, bring this as this in as a law. That's what public consultation used to mean. You know, you consult the public. What does the public think about this? Do they agree with it? Let's have a referendum. Oh, no, let's have a referendum about some bullshit. It doesn't even mean anything. The voice, all it's there for is just to divide and conquer. You know, for any of you who are not aware, yes, they had a referendum 
so that the Indigenous Australians could have a voice in Parliament, even though they already have a voice in Parliament. So it was nothing but more divide and conquer. And they used, you know, taxpayer money to fund a referendum for that, but they don't think that this is important enough to have a referendum. We're literally going to have to provide them biometric data, take a photo of our faces and confirm our identity and our age to access social media. Australians, are you aware of this? Any of you out there aware of what's going on? Because if you just actually look to mainstream media for your information, well, guess what? you're not going to know about it. And the only reason you're finding out about it now is that somebody decided to go and do some research into it as soon as I started seeing a pattern of behavior with the type of information that they were actually now starting to publish in their articles, okay, that I thought I'd go and do a little bit more research into this. And that's when I found this. And that's when I found this. And that's when I found this, but all of these are on independent media outlets. None of it is on mainstream media. And so this is why when they shut channels like me down, you're only going to have the Ministry of Truth giving you information. But hey, it's for your, it's for your own benefit. You know, people like me, we have extremist views, apparently. We're dissidents. We're a problem. Okay, they're not the problem. Even though they've shown themselves to be corrupted, even though they're destroying us as a society, we've got a housing crisis at the moment where young Australian families are literally living in tents and in their cars because they can't access shelter because our government has imported hundreds of thousands of foreigners into our country without providing housing for them and now they're scratching their head at why Australian families are living in their cars and are living in tents and when a rental comes up as vacant and people go to apply for the rental you're having 50 people applying for one rental and nobody really identifies why the problem happened because people just want to be NPCs because for them, being an NPC is safer than actually admitting the truth. And that is we're screwed, okay? Our government is completely corrupted. They're locking us down. We're now going to all have to provide a digital ID. So every single thing we say and do online is now going to be traced back to our identity and they are going to know exactly who we are and exactly who the error codes are in the system because I'm an error code. I'm an error code. I'm a glitch. I'm not susceptible to their brainwashing and their propaganda. So I'm a problem because I'm here using my voice to alert others to what they're doing and they don't like that. I know I just am a small voice in the corner of the internet, but I hope that I have helped some people wake up to what is happening and some people seek out further information and knowledge and understand why this is all happening. And if I have actually helped just a few people, then it's been worth it for me. But I can tell you now that my forum, it's not going to exist for very much longer because once I am made to actually prove my identity and they see what I am posting, all of the information and the knowledge that I post publicly for others, they are not going to like that and they are going to shut me down. So if you want to seek out this information and inform yourself about what they've been hiding from you and why they are all acting like psychopaths in lockstep with each other, because everything that is happening with this housing crisis caused by them importing foreigners into our country, 
it's happening in New Zealand, it's happening in Canada, it's happening in Scotland, it's happening in Ireland, it's happening in the UK. Why is that? Because they have a plan for us. So if you want to understand your enemy, and yes, they are your enemy, we are not each other's enemy, guys. That's why they've tried to divide and conquer us. Okay, and they've succeeded. They've succeeded beautifully. They'd be just laughing about it, how successful they've been. We're all arguing and fighting and fighting and bickering amongst each other. They've succeeded, guys. But if you want to extract yourself from that brainwashing and that propagandizing, then you need to go and inform yourself. Stop listening to people like Joe Rogan. Stop listening to people like Russell Brand and Jordan Peterson and Alex Jones. How have they helped us? How have them having their huge platforms and their huge reach, how are we any better off because of those people? They are controlled opposition. They were put there so that you believe that you have someone powerful speaking out for you. And it keeps you apathetic because they have changed nothing. They've changed nothing, guys. And this is coming now. So prepare. Prepare. Okay. Because as of July 1st, Australians are going to be the first Western country that beta tests a complete nation of people having to provide their biometric data to their government and to be verified to go onto social media. And I warned for years that this was coming. Go back and look at my videos. I warned about this and nobody listened. Well, not nobody. I know there's a few of you guys out there that listen. I know that there's a few of you guys out there that have been implementing everything possible in your lives and applying the knowledge so that you are able to weather the storm that is now coming. But people just did not want to believe what I was telling them. And now it is here. Skynet is here. Because this is what it will be connected to. Eventually, it's going to be connected to all the satellites that Elon Musk is putting up around our planet. And this is just a beta test. Everything that's happening to us is going to be rolled out everywhere else in every single Western country. Okay, they're just, they're just tweaking the problems and ironing out all of the issues and any glitches and any problems that they're going to have with this and make sure it's working properly before they crash the system. And when they reset the system again, we're all going to have these social media IDs. We're going to be hooked up to Skynet. And everywhere we go, we are going to be basically seen by our overlords because they will become our gods and nothing we do will escape their attention. We will not be able to basically be off the radar. Even you people that live out off the grid, do you think that Skynet isn't going to be able to see you out there? Is, isn't there a reason that everyone that's living in rural areas is now using Elon Musk's satellites for their internet. Okay, you're just a beta test to prove and confirm that their system is ready to go. Nobody, no matter where you live, will be able to hide from them. And it will be compulsory that we carry our devices around with us and that we all have a social media ID. And Australians, the lucky country of convicts, we're going to be the first to beta test it. Well, I will post everything underneath the art, um, underneath the video. All the articles will be there for you guys to have a look at. And as always, peace out.